Welcome back everybody. It's been a couple of months since I last posted a full length video, but even though I stopped filming, my garden continued to grow and develop. Now as the spring thaw is just around the corner, I wanted to get right back into the thick of things and show you all the changes and developments that took place over this winter. Here's a quick video highlighting some of the more important changes. The star attraction of this year's garden is without a doubt the winter wheat. It grew beautifully last fall, but alas, the small fence I built around it didn't do a very good job of keeping the rabbits out. I was out of town for two weeks over Christmas, and when I came back, it was all nibbled down. It was disheartening, to say the least. But I don't want to give up on it just yet. I didn't see any stalks out yet, so maybe that's a springtime task. Maybe they stored up enough energy in their roots to push past this little speed bump. This will definitely affect the yield, but I think they should pull through. I'm by no means an expert on growing wheat, so if you know something I don't, don't hesitate to fill me in. Some of you may remember Kelly from some of the other videos. She was the friendliest hen we've ever had. I say was because unfortunately we did have to call her a few weeks ago to make sure she didn't spread anything to the rest of the vlog. The other girls seem fine, so it looks like we caught whatever she had just at the right time. I've been reading about farmers losing their entire flocks to avian flu this past year, and it just makes me appreciate how well we've had it. Franja, the channel mascot, celebrated her 12th birthday in January. I hope she'll be around for many more years to come, but age has not left her unscathed. The gray hairs are creeping in and become especially noticeable when looking at pictures of her from a few years ago. For the most part, she still acts like her normal self, which is as good an indicator for health as any. Other than gardening, I have a lot of cool projects planned for the summer that I want to get done. I've been putting this off for a while, but I really want to build a small foundry and get into metal smithing. Baby steps though. There's a couple of things I need to get done before we get into that. I need to build the foundry, devise a way to easily crush large volumes of aluminum cans, and most likely upgrade my charcoal production to fuel this power-hungry setup. I really can't wait to dive into all of these projects. It's going to be a very busy and productive year for the garden and for the channel. We're almost at 1,000 subscribers, and if you're as excited to what's in the pipeline, subscribing and hitting the notification icon is a great way to stay up to date on when I post. If you change your mind, you can always unsubscribe later. But until next time, bye.